So my role at Sherwood Observatory is to manage the uh, Science Discovery Centre and Planetarium project. So what we're going to be doing is converting a Victorian underground reservoir that was built in 1886 into a Science Discovery Visitor Centre and on top of that we're going to be building a state-of-the-art planetarium. This is such an unusual project. No one in the world has ever turned an underground reservoir into a planetarium before. So as part of that, we decided it was absolutely essential to get the design team together early so we could work out some of the wrinkles and some of the difficulties in doing that. So what we did uh, was select the design team through the SCAPE Ventures process. So that's given us access to basically the whole supply chain very early on so they can work together collaboratively and give us the design we need to make this work and cost effectively. Well, for the last two or three decades, the observatory itself has been used to educate the local community about astronomy and encourage people to uh, follow uh, STEM subjects. The, the planetarium uh, and the reservoir are going to allow us to expand that offer to get even more people here. We're very popular with uh, the Cubs and Scouts and Brownie movements and with schools uh, and with adults as well. So it will give us a greater capacity to uh, engage with the local community. Sherwood Observatory was founded in 1972 uh, by a local called Dave Collins who wanted to set up uh, an astronomy society in the area. Uh, they wanted to be very ambitious, so rather than just having telescopes on tripods like many people would have done, they decided they wanted to build an actual physical observatory, which is now Sherwood Observatory. So over the next 10 to 12 years, they built it themselves at weekends using recycled materials uh, because uh, they basically didn't have any money to do anything else. So the main telescope was also built from recycled materials and it saw first light in 1983 and was then opened in 1986 by the Astronomer Royal as, um, as, a, as a mark of the dedication that the members had put into building it. In a couple of months time we'll be starting our fundraising drive. That will include public subscriptions so we're going to be doing things like a buy a brick scheme or buy a seat in the planetarium scheme where you could get your name on a plaque uh, on the, one of the seats in the planetarium for a donation, so, so look out for that. We've been working on this probably seriously since about 2018. Uh, we got some funding out of the Heritage Lottery uh, and the Architectural Heritage Fund and Ashfield Council back then to do a feasibility study and that really kicked things off for us. Now eventually through some fundraising we're at the point where we can employ the um, main design team, so we've appointed Woodhead Construction as the main contractor. So where we are now, after say four years of effort, is working on those detailed designs and we, uh, the idea is that we put a planning application in in April this year, April 2022, and if we can raise the rest of the funding, we've got about half of the funding we need at the moment, so the next stage is going to be going out to the local businesses, to various other funds and trying to raise that matched funding. And if we can get that, then we can start on site towards the back end of 2022 uh, and we could be open in early 2024.